Hi guys and welcome back to All Read What She's Reading. I'm Michaela. I'm Reggie. And I'm Kennedy. And today we're doing a dedicated part two. If you have been listening from the beginning, you will know that we did a dedication episode and we we loved doing that episode and so we thought it was time to do a part two. So we're going to be sharing some new dedications we've found in some of our books. Some of them we've read, some of them we haven't read, some of them we found random on the internet. (laughs) We just want to share. And I feel like a few of them have made me want to start reading them sooner. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, like I've seen a lot of TikToks. I feel like it's kind of a trend. We haven't done one, but we'll say a book, a book dedication what does it say? A book dedication cannot convince me to read a book. And that shows you the dedication and it convinces you to read the book. Yeah, so. I agree. I just can't believe it's taken us this long to do this episode again. Yeah. Because yeah. it was one of the first episodes we ever did. Was it like our third? I think so. Third episode. That's wild. Mm-hmm. That is wild. <laughs> think of how many books we read since then. I know. Too. So I think uh, let's get right into it. Let's do it. Michaela, you're starting us off. Okay. I don't think I had read these books when we did the first dedicated episode. So this one, this first one is for anyone who ev- who's ever hoped for a second chance. And That's it's adorable. A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber. That's the third book in her Once Upon a Broken Heart series. Um, I think that's really cute. Here's the thing. I also think that the dedications in the books, I think we said this the first time we recorded this episode, they truly hit so much differently after you finish the book. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of the time it's a callback or somehow has to do with the book. And that one is so cute for that book. I know. Mine actually is three dedications because it's for three different books. But I feel like it's cute if they're all together. So the first one is to father who taught me to walk. And then the next one is to mother who taught me to speak and then the third one is to sister who taught me to listen oh and that is for the first three red rising books oh love that yeah really cute that precious is so sweet Ugh. and also just the ultimate compliment to have a book dedicated to you i know the amount yeah. of times that people have like dedicated it to like their parents or, like their siblings or grandparents i'm like that's just so sweet And you can tell how much that person has impacted their life. And I'm like, that's just freaking adorable. It is adorable. One dark window. Oh. To the quiet girls with stories in their heads, to their dreams and their nightmares. Mm. I just feel like that one really resonates with the book. Yeah. But I also feel like you could think of this pretty deeply. Because I feel like there's a lot of dedications, you know, that maybe say something about your dreams and whatever. But, like, there's a little more to people than just their dreams, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So. I agree. I like that one. Uh, Yeah. I actually didn't look at that one when I was looking at those. So I'm glad you said it. Because yeah. that's a pretty good one. Um. So I'm going to say this one, and I f- I don't know how to interpret this one. I've never read this book, so it will be interesting to see, you know, which way it goes. So this one says, for dad, it took a whole book to say goodbye. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if these are coordinates. I don't know. There's just like a bunch of numbers below it. So I wonder if it's like coordinates. I don't know. Um. Oh, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if like it has something to do with the book. They died or like maybe, I don't know. It's interesting. What uh, book? It's Fable by Adrian Young. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know, but I'm excited to, s- I haven't read it. So I have no idea if it like relates. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, interesting, huh? All right. I'm going to give you guys one. That makes more sense once you read the book. Michaela just finished this book, so hopefully it's fresh in her brain. And this might convince Reggie to read it. Oh. So uh, the dedication is for John, Paul, George, and Ringo. And the book is 
Project Hail Mary by Andy Ware. Um, okay, sign me up. Okay, sign yeah. me up. Yeah, you get it? Yeah, I get yeah. it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Don't think the Beatles are going to be in the book because they're not. But oh, I would. I wasn't thinking so, but I do know there's supposed to be some sort of musical element. So wait, actually, I just connected the dots on that. Yeah. Okay, no, 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 no. I understand the names, but also the fact that Reggie just said there's a musical element. I just, it's like a double whammy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay. You're not an idiot. Yeah. No, I think, I think. Also, you have a very different experience, would have a very different experience versus reading it and oh, listening for sure. to it. So, I don't know. I feel like it'd be harder to connect the dots if you read it read it versus listening to it. Yeah. That, I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel if I actually like read that one. Versus it wasn't. Was listening to yeah, it. it's not as fun. So, once again, listen to that book. It's a, it's a good one to listen to. Yeah. So. Michaela's read this one. Uh, I just finished this book, The Things You Leave Unfinished, which Michaela picked for me to read. I did. Uh, says to Jason, her husband, for the days the shrapnel works its way to the surface and reminds us that after five deployments and 22 years in uni- uniform, we're the lucky ones, my love. We're oh. the lightning strike. Oh. That's so cute. That is so cute. I'm going to cry. Yeah, that book. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Whew. It's hard. Don't spoil it for me. No, no spoiling here. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Are you getting teary? I'm so hormonal <laughs> right now, you guys. It's not even funny. So Me too. Okay. We cried last time we said our dedications, didn't we? Or yeah. The, dedica- the dedications mm-hmm. of other books. We did. We're, we. I think it was due for a good cry from us mm-hmm. on an episode. We haven't cried for you guys in a while. Yeah. This one is so precious. I was almost cried. Um, I think I I think I'll say after this to Charlotte and Olivia for being my greatest adventure. You are my joys, my wonders, and my loves. I oh. think those are her daughters. Oh, it's from um, Six Crimson Cranes. I've never read that book, but I thought that dedication was so cute. That is so cute. Yeah, daughters are the best. Oh, I know. Isn't that so sweet? Yeah. <laughs> okay well i will cry over anything right now it's not even funny so we'll, we'll keep it on the wholesome train yeah and this one is to my wonderful husband carlos who has nursed me through some very tough times thank you for always being harmless to me and that's yours truly by abby jimenez okay but have you guys read the acknowledgments of this book no. so during the okay sorry during the time abby jimenez wrote this she got diagnosed with what i believe it was a kidney disease like a severe kidney disease. And so it in the back, it kind of talks about how it inspired her to write this book because she was feeling a whole bunch of feelings and whatever, and her husband helped nurse her back to health. And I just... Well, and also, like, the book is about a nurse, mm-hmm. too. So, like... And they say in the book to each other, like, be harmless to me. Yeah. Oh, I just so love it. Cute. I just love it. Ugh. You know, the crazy thing is, is doing these episodes reminds me that i really should read every dedication because i don't read all the dedications in my books i just get really excited to skip to chapter one and then i close it once the book ends but if you just give the acknowledgements and the dedication a chance sometimes it just makes the book that much better yeah Mm -hmm. so 100 percent. there's a reason they're in there Mm -hmm. um i'm sure kennedy has this one saved i'm sure i do but i'm gonna steal it from her (laughs) <laughs> oh you you're gonna steal one of my favorite ones aren't you okay it's okay i won't no, 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 do it. it's okay do it no, i have do a it. different one nope do it do it do it it's okay i give you permission <laughs> they're okay, i'll let you read the other ones okay <laughs> no do it now they're gonna want to know just do it it's okay. okay this one is magnolia parks into the dark to anyone whom the more stingy parts of this book resonate with Anyone who's grieved or is grieving or has lost or is losing, anyone who worries about the black, empty nothingness, everything is going to be okay. Okay? It's so sweet. Jesse Hastings. Here's the thing. When I first got the book, that book, I think I posted a TikTok of it. I read the dedication and closed the book and sobbed. Because I was just really in my feels during that time period. The book was fresh. Mm-hmm. And yeah. She really knows how to write a dedication. Dang. She's a poet. She is. She truly is. All right. Um, 
This one says, dedicated to the things that keep us sane. Group chats, bangatan, Harry and Taylor. I don't know what bangatan is. Oh, but I know what Harry and Taylor Taylor is. Mm -hmm. Harry or? (laughs) Taylor? Harry and Taylor. Group chats. That one made me kind of giggle. Yeah. Dedicated to things that keep us sane. Group chats. I'm going to ignore bangatan. I don't know what that is. Harry and Taylor. They do keep us sane. They do. What book is that? It's The Paradise Problem. Oh! I just need to read that. I know. I haven't read that one either. That makes me want to read it more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one is from Dark Matter. And it is, for anyone who has wondered what their life might look like at the end of The Road Not Taken. Oh. That's a good That's dedication a really for that good book. One. It's a good one for that book, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I love that. Mm-hmm. Very good. Um, this is another Rebecca Yaros for Iron Flame. Oh. To my fellow zebras, not all strength is physical. Now, I looked up what zebras meant. I had a feeling I knew what it was. The definition of a zebra in this way um, is used to reference a rare disease or condition, which Rebecca Yaros, if you're not familiar, has um, a... I forget what it's called. Oh, I wish I could remember. I'm so sorry. Uh, But basically... The disease that uh, Violet has in fourth wing mm-hmm. is the same that Rebecca Yaros has. Um, it's like a chronic Ehlers Danlos syndrome. Ehlers Danlos syndrome. Yes, that. So I just think it's really cool that that obviously she put a part of herself into this character in this book and then dedicated the book to mm-hmm. everyone who has the same. Which I thought was really, really sweet. Love. That is so sweet. Um, This one says, For anyone who has ever been told their spark shouldn't burn so bright, and for all the people who loved them precisely because it did. Oh. And this one is called Spark of the Everflame. Mm-hmm. I think I probably need to read it. Okay, that's all over book talk right now. Yeah, I've been really wanting to read it. Can I just like, m- can we talk about this for a sec? Yeah. yeah. The, bi- the book is actually pretty big. I've, I've, yeah. Well, so the first book's not too long, but the second book's almost 700 pages. The third book's over a thousand pages. Ooh, but here's what's crazy. They were all, they've, all, the very first book she pub the Spark of the Everflame, I think it was published like the end of 2022. Okay. She already has four books out. Oh. So I just, I know people are really liking them, but for some reason I'm like, that I feel a little hesitant. Oh, yeah. I, you know what I mean? When, yeah. like, books are released a little, a little quick, too quick. But I'm like, she could have had it written forever ago, but still, I don't know. I've been really wanting to start it. It's free on Kindle Unlimited, in case you're curious. People have been saying it's very bingeable. I've been, that's the one, that's the one fantasy series that I'm, like, really wanting to start. I just, I'm a little uh, yeah. intimidated mm-hmm. by one of the books being over a thousand pages long. Yeah. So, anyways... But I've heard good things. We'll yeah, yeah. It, I mean, from that dedication, it sounds pretty good. Mm-hmm. And that's really sweet. Just take that to heart. Don't let your spark be dulled. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quote me on that. Put it on a shirt. <laughs> Put it on a shirt. All right. This one is from The Great Undoing. Or Daisy Hates The Great Undoing. And part of the reason I'm sharing this is because I just love how sassy Jessa Hastings is. <laughs> and... It says, for all the people in my DMs saying I need to pay your therapy bills, I won't do that, but I will dedicate this book to you. Stay that dramatic forever. Within reason. Inappropriate circumstances. Probably don't be that dramatic in your daily lives. Regardless, thank you for everything. (laughs) I love her. She's the best. She's really fun to follow on Instagram. If you guys have read Magnolia Parks and you don't follow Jessa on Instagram, you should go follow her because she's so fun to follow. Yeah, she is a very witty gal. Mm-hmm. She'll just randomly share, like, just a random reel that she finds on, like, her For You page or something. And it just will feel so random, but it's always so funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> just love it. Yeah, me too. So, We're and her gorgeous. outfits are always 10 out of 10. So Yeah. yeah. I yeah. wish a I was. A fashion icon. Yeah, like her. Mm-hmm. She is a fashion mm-hmm. girly. Mm-hmm. And I love that for her. So so iconic not gonna lie should i do a silly one 
Yeah, please. Yeah, do a silly one. This is, um, I bet you can't guess which book this is. Okay. I think this is how you say his name. To Tao and Sarah. I could not do this book without you, and I oh. wouldn't even want to. Bride. 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 And K- K-N-O-T. Yeah. Does she say K-O-N? Yep. It's in, it's italicized. Mm. Um. Um. If you read the book, you know. If you know, you know. Man, and I wish I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay um mine are all like really sappy i'm sorry you guys well, i love I'm it usually ones. like the funny person <laughs> i try to be funny but i'm like in a sappy mood i guess okay this one is for my heart and my sunshine and my man of steel oh it's five broken blades oh by mia oh. corlin i love that That's so sweet i know i love sappy right now i'm in a sappy mood this one is from A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, and it says, For the ones who dream of stranger worlds. That's mm. a good one. It makes me want to read that book. I can't believe you haven't read that. I know. I feel like you've been I talking about like that one for a while. It's crazy that you've read some of the other ones of V.E. Schwab, but A Darker Shade of Magic is like her most popular. I know. Because I've read Vicious, that little duology, mm-hmm. and I've read Secret Life of Addie LaRue. Yeah, mm-hmm. I guess Secret Life of Addie LaRue is pretty dang popular. Mm-hmm. When it, like on TikTok, mm-hmm. I feel like for yeah. a second it was pretty popular. Yeah, but I found Darker Shade of Magic before, like I ever heard about the Secret Life of Addie LaRue. Anyways, you probably should. I don't. I don't know why I'm so intimidated by it. It's intimidating to me, but I'm excited to read it. It's good. Cool. This is a book I have not read. I haven't even heard of it. Oh. But I saw this on TikTok. The book is called The Wren in the Holy... The Holly? I, I tried to screenshot it and it was like they were turning the book and I couldn't fully read it. The Wren in the Holly Library. It's not holy. It's There's definitely two L's. So something along those lines, okay? I'm sorry I don't have... Yeah, I think it's Holly. I don't know. I'll look it up in a second if you want me to. Um, but the dedication says, to the girls who fell for the library before the beast. Oh, that's Ooh, cute. Huh? That, is that cute. sounds so interesting. Yeah. Let me Fell look up with the library. actual title because maybe I just totally butchered that and that's not right. Yeah. The Wren in the Holly Library hmm. by K.A. Lind. That sounds really interesting. It came out this summer. Oh. June 4th. What genre is it? I'm going to guess it's fantasy. Uh, I think it's fantasy. I, I'm not really seeing where it says, where does it say genres on Goodreads? It's about monsters. Oh. So. Monsters. The description says, can you love the dark when you know what it hides? That sounds interesting. Some things aren't supposed to e- exist outside our imagination. So it's set in New York City, but it's a new New York City. Huh. So it sounds like well, I don't know. I sounds really interesting. Know. Yeah, someone rated it and said an interesting dystopian concept. Hmm interesting dystopian it doesn't have as good of ratings as i anticipated when i pulled it up but you know i'm very intrigued by this plot from what i'm reading in the description so it sounds good i don't think i've well i maybe read one book about monsters (laughs) i don't know would you count what yeah what would you consider monsters like what what book would you say that has like monsters in it Mm, you know what maybe maybe i haven't well no i i but, think monsters is a loose term yeah because i feel like there's monsters in like drone of glass akatar they just have names yeah they, yeah yeah like, if you look scary. at them you'd be like that's a monster yeah, that's but scary. you wouldn't yeah yeah i see what you're saying but what what were you i don't know i just think like <laughs> the thing that comes to my mind is like literally uh monsters inc oh okay i know you know what i mean but like have you seen those um 
you know that trend there was like a trend on tiktok where it was like people would put ai images of what they'd type in characters from like monsters inc and then it would say what AI oh yes would make them as and yeah. they're terrifying Ooh. that's what i'm picturing but you know okay. now that mm-hmm. i think about it the fan art that you see for like akatar um creatures yeah look the same so i look guess a little scary yeah i don't know i'd be i just think monsters and i don't know why i just i feel like they can talk i don't know maybe monsters is for things that don't have names does that make sense oh maybe i don't know who knew i never thought we'd be having a conversation about the definition of a monster but here we are <laughs> can i look it up what's the definition of a monster i'm actually going to <laughs> What's the definition <laughs> of... What's the definition of monster? Oh, I can't type fast with one hand. An imaginary creature that is typically large, ugly, and frightening. Mm. So it has to be imaginary? I don't know. Or it says, is an animal of strange or terrifying shape. Ooh. You know, a monster is probably pretty... um. Your definition of a monster is very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Depends on the person. Yes. This this term that they used, my mother used to monster me from coming home so late. What does that mean? Like she would turn into a monster? <laughs> like rage? That's like funny. get mad? I don't know. That's hilarious. Anyway, sorry, that was a little bit of a side <laughs> tangent that we just went on. I don't know. If you guys, I would love to know your opinion on <laughs> what you would term a monster as. Okay. All right. Moving on. Let's get back to the zappy side. I know. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Okay. This one. Sappy. Back to sappy. For anyone who has ever feared they won't find true love. And that uh-huh. is the Ballad of Never After. Mm-hmm. I forgot about that one. I should have coined those two together That's when right. I first read them. My bad. My bad, everyone. That's a good one. That is really cute. Um, Yeah. So, I mean, we've all found our true loves, but if anyone hasn't, uh, there's lots of hope for you out there. Mm-hmm. And we're rooting for you hardcore. And we hope you find your happily ever after. Yeah, you tell them. Wow, I'm just turning into a sap fest. <laughs> yeah. On the topic of love, I want you guys to guess what book this is. You're okay. going to know what it is. Okay. For the reckless souls who dare to love and be loved. Mm. So reckless? Reckless? Yes. Oh, who would have guessed? That was a good one for that one. It is a good mm-hmm. one. Okay. I got one about love. We love love. Let's see if you can guess this. Can we? Both, oh, both of you have read this. Oh, we both have? For Calloway. The boy who climbed into the treehouse in my heart and let me be the crown on his. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Is it the selection? Yeah, it's the oh. one. The oh, one? cute. Stop. Stop. Sweet. That is really sweet. I Well, I was just thinking crown, one. Crown, treehouse. Yeah, and I was like, there's a treehouse in the first book? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's really cute. So cute. Okay, this one's funny. I'm taking a turn a little bit from the sappiness. I actually posted this on my story, and people are like, "What book is that?" <laughs> and I thought it was hilarious. This one is. It says, "I did this for the rats." Uh, um, it's the Hurricane Wars by Thea Gozin. Gozin. Um, after reading it, I've read it. I have no idea why that's the dedication. <laughs> Maybe like their she calls their friend group the rats or something. Maybe. I don't know, but it, I thought it was really funny. This one's for the rats, you know. Who? This one's the for rats. The, this one's for the rats. Should hmm. I look up the rats Maybe definition? It's like- <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's literally just to be funny, or maybe there's a maybe there's like a ratatouille friend. element. Huh? I I don't know. I don't remember if there is a rat element. Um, because I definitely do not remember a rat ever being mentioned or maybe it's it's just got to be some type of inside joke that we don't know about yeah you know i think that's really funny and me too okay this one is from two twist two twisted crowns and it says to anyone who's ever felt lost in a wood there is a strange sort of finding in losing 
Ooh, adorable. Ooh, that one is poetic. I just love me a good deep dedication. Yeah. Uh, this is from A Million Junes by Emily Henry. Oh. I haven't read this, mm -hmm. but I added it as my want to read because it's one of her older books, one of her first books. And I read the description and it seemed very interesting and different from her other books. So anyways, I was just curious what the dedication was. And it says, for Jack, Patrick, and Daniel, who gave me a name worth keeping. For so, how do you say this name? Seely, Seely, Seely. For Seely, I don't know how you say that name. For Seely, who loved well, and for those who find ways to go on, better days are coming for our little hearts. Oh, that's cute. Just a good little reminder. Oh, I love that. I just love being. But I also feel sappy. like saying. She dedicated it to these three guys and then said, who gave me a name worth keeping? That's really sweet. That is really sweet. Love. Like I said, it's the ultimate compliment to have a book dedicated to you. And in lieu of that, this book is dedicated to the readers, mm. which is the highest compliment. <laughs> this one says, dear readers, beyond life, beyond death, my love for thee is eternal. Oh, isn't that cute? No. And that's from um I think it's the, it's the last book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. Mm. That's really cute. So we've had a book dedicated to us. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just really cool because authors wouldn't be where they are without their readers. Yeah. So and I yeah. will gladly read authors' books. They're so fun. I know we wouldn't have this podcast if it weren't for them. Yeah. So. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. This one's a little unhinged. I haven't read this book. I just did a quick Google search of funny book dedications. This is from Joan Rivers' book, Diary of a Mad Diva. And the oh. dedication is, this book be dedicated to Kanye West because he'll never effing read it. <laughs> Shout out to Joan Rivers. That oh. is so random wasn't there last time we did a dedication to books there was a dedication to like a fam famous person too? yeah to um i can't remember his name i was gonna say john cena but it wasn't john cena, <laughs> john cena. <laughs> oh it's um guy who uh plays aquaman oh. oh what's his name oh um i can't think of it everybody's screaming at the at their at us right now yeah. um uh, jason momoa yeah jason momoa yep i almost said jackson <laughs> like, jackson that's, that's not it that's really funny yeah actually that would actually be so funny to dedicate it to like a random famous person wait that could be a book author writes a book dedication to her celebrity crush because he's never gonna read it oh that's a good one he, he reads picks it. up the book because everyone's like this book was dedicated to you so he has to read it falls in love with Shh, the author be a ghostwriter ghostwrite that book right now or don't steal it or i'm coming for you <laughs> it's copyrighted if right there now. is a book like that out there i want to read it so but that's a really good idea yeah all right or I'll, I'll, I'll do it yeah just kidding send us over the first draft We'll read All it. right, you heard it here first on I'll Read What She's Reading. <laughs> uh, I drink? Yeah. Okay. So this is for our monthly book club book, A Novel Love Story. Ooh. To the author of my favorite book, I wish I could have met you, but I hope my books find your books on the shelves, and I hope they're friends. Cute. That's so cute, huh? That's adorable. I want to know who her favorite author is I now. know. That is so cute. That's so cute. I love that. Stop. I love. <laughs> so precious. It's gonna make me cry. Thinking about my books sitting on the bookshelf. They like being next to the books. Yeah, it's like Toy like, Story. When you leave, they come you alive. Write a book, and it's just next to Sarah J. Mass. Like next to Throne of Glass. You know what I mean? Like that's gotta be. I don't know. I Im mean, I guess it depends on your last name. Imagine. <laughs> having an excerpt from your idol on your book you know what oh i mean gosh, how it says yes. like 
so-and-so is the author of our generation quotation sarah j mass imagine that would be wild yeah do you guys alphabet alphabetize how do you say that word no your guys's bookshelf mine is straight um, my bookshelf okay well, everyone's been asking for bookshelf tours on our tiktok you don't want to see my bookshelf um one it's too small for all my books and it's in my basement that's unfinished so mine are just kind of like grouped by genre very messily on my bookshelf because they're not like i think my bookshelf genuinely might break i'm just waiting for one day to hear my books just topple over topple over i should probably move some of them off the shelf because it's getting a little heavy but dang yeah mine is just based off pure vibes same aesthetic and and like genre ish same like authors for sure Mm -hmm. i put the books by the same authors together um but yeah just i have no rhyme or reason to my bookshelf but maybe we'll give a tour kennedy's looks really nice so does yours it could look better mine could too no (laughs) she put in the work for it and it's beautiful awesome well this was really fun uh we'll probably do another dedication episode in another year or so um because that's really fun and we'll obviously be reading more books add more more books behind our our tbr list right um if you guys ever have a book that has a really good dedication please send it to us because genuinely a lot of these books that they shared i haven't read and it's putting it on my radar for me to read Mm -hmm. because the dedications are that good i almost read (laughs) i can't remember what book it was but i looked at the dedication and the dedication literally just said like to june like to a person and i almost shared it to be funny but i didn't i picked up one that said but there's so many that are like that but even then that's still like i don't know who these people are that they're dedicating him to but still very cool for them the person that's been dedicated to but i just really like when you know you get a little sprinkle of maybe what's to come in the book or like the impact from someone had on them that maybe inspired the book i don't know it's just fun to read and also like kennedy was saying like acknowledgements too those are also really fun to read Mm mm-hmm help you understand the book and their author's mind a little bit more Mm -hmm. so i also had one that said for mom and that's it you know sometimes simple is great uh but you know when you pour your heart and soul into a dedication Mm. it hits my heart and soul yeah it really does Mm -hmm. um so yeah send send everything in between the funny the sappy the simple the complicated wow i am sweet if it mentions today i guess if it mentions harry styles i'll read it real fast yeah so the paradise problem is now up higher on my tbr because harry styles was mentioned i'm feeling poetic today i guess (laughs) (laughs) all right guys this was really fun um you guys can follow us on tiktok and instagram at what she's reading pod we love to update you guys on our reading all the funny stuff that we like to create on tiktok instagram we we love it all so if you're not there with us you should be because we really really like having um follower input we love to you know include you guys in our episodes we do so if you ever want to be included in the episode that's definitely the place to be when we post questions um so we will see you guys next week Bye. Bye.